Hey everyone, it's Carrie TV, and I'm standing outside this great condo building that we just sold, taking the lockbox off. Yes, it's raining. When does it ever rain in California? But just want to share a little story about this. What happened during this transaction? Congrats to both the buyer and seller on this awesome condo in Mar Vista. There's so much happening around here, so much being built, new shopping centers, retail, it's awesome. So let's head back to the office and tell the tale of 3988 Beethoven. So this is a little continuation from outside of 3998 Beethoven. Why I like to do these just sold videos is because every single transaction has a story and every story is a learning lesson. Now I know a lot of people talk to each other when they're in the market about what's going on with their transaction or what happened with their friend, but it's so important to note that every single transaction has so many different nuances. So just because your friend got a certain price or your friend got a credit or your friend closed really quickly doesn't always mean that you can do exactly the same. That's because in every situation there's three important factors. One, the property. Property could be on a hill, could be a condo, could be a house, could be old, could be new construction. There's so many different factors that go into inspections, requests for repairs. Two, the seller and the buyer. So seller and the buyer, you could have sellers and buyers who have big egos, who are complicated, who love to fight, and that makes things a little bit more difficult. And the third thing is motivation and timing. So if you're in a certain position where you have to sell or you have to buy, you're going to negotiate a lot differently based on your personal needs. So they always say the person who needs it less wins, so to speak. Not that anybody wins or loses in transactions and actually we always like to have a win-win philosophy, which is something I learned from my days at Keller Williams, uh, which is great for all the training that happened there, but I took that with me to the agency, a win-win philosophy. You want the buyer and the seller to both feel like they're winning. So the point of this is talking about my just sold today at Beethoven. Now, I thought this was really interesting too because my lovely client, Sarah, who's become a dear friend and I just love her, she's awesome, her energy's great. We're members of the Santa Monica Chamber together. Go Santa Monica Chamber. So met her through a lovely other client and she purchased in 2014. At the time, it was super difficult to find anything under 500,000. So we found her this great condo on Beethoven in Mar Vista, two bedrooms, two baths, renovated. It had these awesome orange walls, orange and green walls. And it's quite funny, I was looking through an old photo of us when we closed and that orange wall was there, but she obviously repainted and did some upgrades when she was there. So she wanted to live closer to the beach, but didn't necessarily want to sell and buy something closer to the beach just yet. So she rented out her place. Luckily, her, her rent covered her mortgage, so she was happy as a clam. Maybe even she was making a little bit of money. So her condo became a little investment for the time being. Now when it came time to sell, she had purchased uh, for high 400s, 487 I believe it was. She ended up selling for 684,000, which is 200,000 more than what she bought it for. And this was over the span of about four, four years. So incredible to make that much on your money, that kind of return on investment. And she wouldn't have made that if she had sold it right when she was moving into uh, her new rental. So it's a really great opportunity to know that you don't have to live in the first place you purchase if you're a primary residence if you're renting somewhere else. A lot of people think you have to own your primary residence. It's awesome to have other investments. You can have condos, apartment buildings, you can buy a property somewhere that you may not necessarily want to live but has a great rental value and then you go rent something in a place rent something in a place where you want to be every day. So there's definitely a misconception that you have to live where you buy. Of course, it's great to get a pr primary residence as your first property, but you've got to be flexible in real estate. You've got to be able to get in where you can get in and not limit yourself to things like price points and areas. If that dream home, if you've got a, uh, champagne taste on a beer budget, I like to think I have a champagne taste on a champagne budget, but my accountant may not agree with that. <laughs> um, you wanna look at places that maybe are good for investments and then use that profit, use that equity and put it towards somewhere where you actually do wanna live or buy another investment. But real estate is not just for your primary residence. So definitely understand that there's options out there and know that every deal is different. I'm so stoked for Sarah and what she made on this place. And again, 
maybe I'm saying too much personal information, but hey, that's Gary TV, right? We, we share the facts. But I'm so happy for her and I'm so honored to have worked with her all these years and now we're gonna go get her a sweet beach pad, right? So thanks so much for working with me, but also thanks guys for tuning in today and hearing the facts about this just sold, how every transaction is different and how investments really vary. So as always, talk to your specialist and we'll see you next week on Carrie TV.